In this video, I'll walk through the process of publishing a CLI tool to Cargo, so anyone can install it simply using the Cargo install command. I'll be publishing this crate I put together here, which just simplifies creating code snippets. First thing you want to do is ensure your cargo.toml has all these required fields, which is used as metadata for your crate on crates.io. And you should double check the your crate builds by running the cargo build dash release command. It's also worth running the binary locally just to double check it works as expected before you publish it. I'm just double checking the output here. It looks good. Now we need to log in to crates.io. We'll need to go generate a token and add the necessary permissions. So publish new and publish update. So now we've got the token, we'll copy paste it over there. Now everything's set up, we can run cargo publish, which will build and upload the crate to crates.io. So it's successfully built and uploaded the crate. We should be able to see it in our dashboard. So there it is. It's got one version, the readme's come through. Looks good. I'll just quickly demonstrate how to release a new version. You just go into the cargo.toml and depending on the change, you may do a major, minor or patch. In this case, we are just doing a patch. We can now run cargo publish again and it will push the new version. Great, so the new version is published. We can refresh crates.io and there it is. Now we can install the CLI tool locally simply by running cargo install code snip, which is the name of the tool. So it will download and install the crate. Awesome, installed successfully. Now we can run the tool simply passing the arguments it expects. Awesome, looks like it's working as expected. Thanks for watching. Hope this demonstrated just how easy it is to release a CLI tool in Rust with crates.io.